Hi, I'm a storyteller and my name is Geeta Ramanujam and I've been telling stories for the past actually 40 years but I established Kathalia in 20, about uh, 25 years ago and I've been traveling to about 43 countries in the world and I've collected so many stories from mountain tops, near rivers, from forests and around a fire and so I thought maybe I should put all my travels along with the stories that I've collected and so I did do that and I put it in this book called Tales from the World and it's brought up by Puffin and I'm sure you'll enjoy reading because it has beautiful illustrations by Alaka Priya too and it is very well done so I'm sure you enjoy the stories. Well, you might be wondering what kind of stories are there. It's for everyone. There are folk tales, there are anecdotes, there are myths. And so I thought there are stories from Korea, from Japan, from Scotland. And yes, I think I'll tell you a story from Korea. Now, in this story, it's called Gekul the Frog. It's a frog story. Mm. So once upon a time, a long time ago, that's how stories begin, isn't it? And there was a mother frog and she always was happy frog and she would sing a song. And she was a happy, nice, beautiful frog. And she used to sit on this lily pad and she used to talk with all the other friends. She had two very good friends. Don't be all our best friends. And she had a son. And this son was one very naughty frog, like all children are, isn't it? So there was the son and she said, hmm, what should I name him? And she named him Gegul. So he would come near his mother and she would say, hey Gegul, what? Gegul. Gulge. Gegul is your name. Gulge. Oh, he always did the opposite, isn't it? So whenever she said, hey, Come here, I want to tell you something. He would say, what is it? And she would say, okay, go far away from me because I want to tell you something. And he would say, what is it, mummy? So every time he did just the opposite. And when she said, why don't you sit on the lily pad quiet? He would say, ah, ha, 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 ha. And he would shake all his legs and he would dangle and he would go all over the place. So she would say, why don't you just dance and go all over the place, don't sit on the lily pad and he would say and sit on that lily pad very quiet watching all the butterflies. So the mantra was this, that if she said the opposite, that's what he would do. Well, it so happened, they also used to sing and dance at times. Kama sumo yomavadi ka koge ko. Oh gosh, she never gets his name, does he? So one day, she was getting old and she couldn't hop as well as she used to. She struggled to get onto her lily pad. And that's when she thought she ought to tell her son something very important. But how is she going to tell him? If she told the opposite, then he would listen. Now, she saw the pond and she knew there's a lot of water coming in and going out. And she didn't want to be buried there. So she said that if I tell him that I want to be buried on top of the hill, then... He would not bury me there. So I better tell him that I want to be buried near the lake. And so. Gekul! Gekul! She called. 
mo, yung mga rally. Okay, don't sit quiet because I don't want to tell you anything. What is it, mommy? Well, Gegul, hmm? you know what? Hmm? I want, I might die someday. No! Okay, so when I die, I want you to bury me near the lake. Here. Okay. Is that all? Mm-hmm. Kulige. Gigul. Kulige. Kulige. And he went away. And one fine day, of course, the mother died. Now that's when our friend Gigul realized that he missed his mother a lot. And he went to all her friends and he began to say, Gegul, that's my name. Gegul. Kawasumo yoma o kero 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 guak guak guak. And then he called all his friends. Nobody came. But then he decided, oh, what did my mother tell me? To bury her near the pond. And that's what I'm going to do. And I better listen to my mother now. And so he began to and he started digging. And then he placed his mother and then he filled it up with the mud. And he sat there. Gero, 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 quack, quack, quack. That's when all the friends realized that Gekul was really a nice frog. And they all came from all sides. Hey, mm, 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 mm. Can we help you? Can we help you? Can we help you? Yes, he said. You know, there's a lot of water coming in and going out. And I don't want my mother to be washed away. Will you please, will you please help? And can you all gather around this pond, around my mother? Sure, they all said. Anything for you, Gegul? Wow, he was so happy. And they all sang. Kawasumo yomawali kakoge kakoge kopyong. Gero, 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 quack, 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 quack. Day and night, especially when there was water and there was a lot of rain, they would all gather so that the water doesn't wash away his mother. And so you see, from that day, Hegel was turned a new leaf and he always was very kind to everyone. And he lived there to watch his mother and so people say that whenever it's going to rain or when it's a little cloudy you will find frogs along the ponds or the lakes doing quack 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 but actually if you listen you'll hear them singing this song Konge, koka, koge, kopyong. Lapawite, lapawite, kakoge, kopyong. Motawite, motawite, kakoge, kopyong. Pyong, pyong. Well, that is one of the stories that I've put into this book. And I'm sure you'd love to listen to the song and to hear the story in your own beautiful way. Thank you.